just click on the browser and type here flutter open the flutter website click on the get started so we have already set up the development environment for mac os ios and android and for the web browser and if you did not set your development environment so i have given the link in the description box so you can watch my previous videos how we can set your development environment for running your flutter application so we just click on the test drive so here ide actually integrated development environment and here three option is given option one how we can run your application with visual studio code second option how we can run your application with android studio and third option is how we can run your application with command line so we have already created lecture on the visual studio code i have given the link in the description box how we can run our application with visual studio code so in this lecture we will run our application with android studio so first of all android studio should be installed in your system so we will search here android studio so android studio is open so it means that android studio is already installed in my system so if android studio is not installed in your system so you can search here android studio and you can just click on this and just download from here so i am not downloading android studio because i have already downloaded android studio so we just click on the android studio so the second thing is that we are running our application with android studio so we need to install the flutter plugin so we click on the plugin and search here flutter so here flutter plugin is showing so this is not installed because here install button is showing so it is not installed in my system so we just click on the install install so in few seconds the flutter will be installed in android studio so we just restart ide restart again click on the plugin and search here flutter so now disable option is showing here so it means that flutter is installed in android studio so the second thing is that we will install the dart so the dart is language which we used in flutter so here disable option is showing so it means that dart is also installed in android studio so dart is automatically installed when we install the flutter plugin we just close this and click on the project so now here a new option is showing new flutter project so we just click on this so by default here flutter is select and we will also select it so this is actually pick the flutter sdk path so we will verify your flutter sdk path here so if your flutter sdk path is not correct so you can select here your flutter sdk location and you can reselect it here my flutter sdk path is correct so we will not change it so we just click on the next and here we will give the name of our flutter application so suppose test demo so suppose test demo is the name of our flutter application so you can give here any name so actually this is the location of your project so you can change your project location here if you want so i am storing our application in the document so i will not change my location you can change here your project location here we will type the description of your project so you can type here anything if you want so this is the project type so by default is here application selected but you can create here a plugin package module skeleton ffi plugin and empty project also but all these things we will cover our future videos but in today video we will create a application so we will not change it so here we will select android language 
so by default kotlin is selected and mostly in currently we are using kotlin we will not change it and for ios we can also change here but in currently mostly we use swift so by default swift is selected and we will not change it also so here you can select and unselect any platform if you want so you can check and check here so actually this application will be created for android ios linux mac os web and windows so all platform is selected here so you can unselect any platform if you want so after it we will click on the create here a error message is showing that directory does not exist so we can select here your location if you face this type of issue so we select here and again we click on the create so here a project name is not valid so we just and choose here underscore so now we create so now project is creating so it will take few seconds we just wait for it yeah so our project is created so we maximize the screen and here the all bottom option is showing so we click on the terminal here and type here flutter doctor and check everything is properly installed or not yeah so here a message is showing no issue found so it means that everything is properly installed in the system so we can run our application for the ios for the android and for the web so if you are facing any issue here so it means that your development is not properly set so you must set your development environment before running your flutter application so if you did not watch my previous videos of development setup so i have given the link in the description box so you can watch my previous videos and you can set your development environment so if you are not facing any issue here so we will run here our application now so you can see here a different different folder will be created for the android for running android and for ios for running our application for the ios linux for the linux mac os because we can run our flutter application for the mac os itself so a folder will be created for the mac os also for the web and for the windows so different different folders will be created here so we just click on the lib and here is the main dot dot so we click here and by default it is open here so if it is not open so you can open from the lib so actually main dot dot is the starting file in the flat application so if you already work on the react native so you know better that in react native app.js is the starting file but in the flutter the main dot dot is the starting file so now we will select the device here so here you can select any device so suppose i want to run our application on the web so we will select here web and click on this button yeah so now application is running on the chrome so i am closing this so like this you can select here any device and run your application on any platform so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching